Hello, just a quick practice question on uh, increasing glucose levels. Uh, they love talking about glucose. They like talking about insulin and glucagon and some of the uh, epinephrine, some of the different hormones that are responsible for increasing glucose levels. So probably a good idea that we do a little practice question uh, on that. So here's a typical question that you can see. Uh, that you will see at some point. It says, uh, and again, when you go through this, one of the strategies for sure is to have write right on your exam. So have a highlighter, have a pen, highlight the things that you do recognize in the stem of the question, and uh, that will start unlocking the file that this information, um, you know, where that the file that contains this information that's required for you to be able to be successful on the question. So it says, while playing a vigorous game of basketball, a person's overall rate of metabolism increases. Okay, so we talked about metabolism and increasing that. And remember, just make some quick little notes. We talked about the thyroid stimulating hormone having an impact on metabolic rate. So that's part of what we know, make little notes. Now that might not pertain to this particular question, but we're gonna put in some notes there nonetheless because we recognize it. It says which two, now they want two hormones, our two hormone levels rise so that blood glucose levels will meet the needs of the increased metabolic uh, rate. So they're asking for two hormones that increase glucose, or glucose levels. So two hormones. So again, right all over your test uh, and you'll start unlocking some of those files. So let's take a look really quickly at the question or the uh, actual uh, options. So uh, I'm going to skip this first one, A, and I want you to, again, take a look at some strategies that we've talked about in the past. You don't, I mean, there's lots of information. You don't need to know everything and you can't know everything. So use one of this test strategies is to use process of elimination. That's a big one. That one's really successful when you can go through that. Let's skip A and let's just go to B. So B talks about steroids and it talks about HGH, human growth hormone. Uh, if you take a look at the notes, if you worked on your flow charts, you see that human growth hormone really has nothing to do with glucose levels. It's just increasing uh, cell division and muscle and bone growth. But we never really talked about anything with the glucose levels. We never did with the steroids either as well. So this is something that we can eliminate just based on that information. So let's take B right out on your exam, cross it right out. We talked about cortisol. Well, cortisol is something. I'm gonna circle cortisol because we know that cortisol did uh, cause proteins to be broken down into amino acids and then those amino acids were converted into glucose. So this is true, but let's just take a look at the second half of this. Second half said ADH. ADH we know has to do when the body's dehydrated, uh, blood pressure is low, uh, we send that to the kidney to reabsorb more water, the kidney uh, then, or with the reabsorption of more water, the body gets rehydrated. But nowhere did we talk about anything with glucose levels with that one. So because this second part doesn't fit the rise of glucose levels, we can actually eliminate this, okay? Even though the part of that uh, cortisol is true uh, with its uh, ability to raise glucose levels. Let's take a look at D now. D says insulin, okay? Now insulin, you know, has something to do with glucose levels, but in this case, what happens is glucose or insulin is released just after a meal, when blood sugar levels are high, insulin is released by the beta cells of the pancreas, and that takes excess glucose and converts it into glycogen stores, right? Makes them more permeable at the uh, liver and the muscle uh, and converts it then into glycogen storage. So that would actually lower glucose levels, okay? But even if you didn't do that, and of course we're looking for two hormones that will uh, increase glucose levels, but even if you didn't know that, even if you recognize glucose, look at acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is something that we talked about in Unit 1. Unit 1, uh, when we looked at the synapse, we talked about acetylcholine being released in the synapse, causing muscles to contract. And that had nothing to do with glucose levels. It doesn't even belong in the same unit. So that is something, just based on that, we can eliminate that, and that just leads us to the right answer automatically. But if we take a look at the right answer, epinephrine, remember epinephrine was released by the adrenal medulla. 
uh, in response to a nerve uh, stimulus by the hypothalamus, hypothalamus, and then it took uh, epinephrine, increased the conversion of glycogen into glucose. So that did increase glucose levels. The second part of this, glucagon is the hormone that takes the excess, excess uh, glycogen and converts that into glucose in times when blood sugar level is too low. So this would also increase glucose levels. But just based on process of elimination, we got rid of the answers and we came up with the right answer anyways, which would be A. So again, just to reiterate, make notes all over your sheet, uh, all over your test booklet. And uh, the other one we talked about was utilizing the process of elimination just to kind of get uh, rid of the, some of the wrong answers and that and come up with the right. Um, anyways, one of the test strategies we thought it'd be a good idea to go over. Thanks, guys.